Hey, welcome to the instructions and the introduction to the UI button. So once your app has been installed, you can find back your UI button under third party apps in your elements section. So when you drop the element on the page, you can see that by default, it uh, inherits the font family of the buttons that you're using on your team. It also includes an icon. This icon comes from the Font Awesome library where you can pick over 600 icons. You can change that and uh, switch to another icon really easy from uh, our settings. And as well, you can change the font family of the button to any font family available on Google Fonts, which has over 800 fonts available on the library. So let's have a look at the settings. So let's change our font or icon by clicking on the first uh, example. Let's go with the font family. You can see that by scrolling down here, you got over 800 choices of font family. On the left, you can filter by category, narrowing down your uh, options, or you can even search by name of the font family then. At the left top, you can see that there is some preview text. You can also add your custom preview text, my button, for example. And then when you pick, when you click on a font family, you can see that the font weights are appearing for that family. So when you click on 100, you can see 100 is really a thin font. 900 will be bold, you can see. And then you can choose from all uh, families available. So let's go, for example, with Montserrat, or uh, let's go with a serif font. So it's more clear that we changed our font. So once you're happy with the chosen weight and font family, you can click on save and on done. And then you can see that the font family and the weight has been applied to your button. So next thing, let's change that icon. Again, we click on the same button and instead of font picker, we click on icon picker. You can see that all of the icons have been divided into categories and that you can click on them like that. Let's go, for example, with a hand icon here, and we'll choose this Spock hand icon. Once you've chosen, you're happy with your icon. The only thing you need to do is click on done, and then you can see the icon is being showing up here. Next, the first thing you probably want to do is change the button of your text. The button of your text is not being changed from within the settings of the UI button itself. You will need to access the Weebly default button settings. So by clicking on the button again, you can see that now you have the button options where you can change the text. Let's change it to my button. And then button styles in this case are not going to be available, but you can align your button to the center or to the right. You can of course link it to any page on your website or external file for download or other things. And you can apply some spacing on the top and bottom. Going back to the app settings itself, you can change the background color, a background solid color. You can add a gradient, which will be by default diagonal, but you can also apply a vertical gradient if you like so. Let's apply for a second so we can preview that. You can see that it has a blue and, and a purple color. You can change it by changing those two gradient colors. Each gradient exists of two colors, a top color and a bottom color. So you can see that color one and color two. Next thing, we have some border color and a border width. In, in case you do, uh, you do not want to have a border, sorry for that, you just change that value to zero. The border radius will make your, increasing this value will make your border rounder. So let's say we want to have a rounded edge button you can increase that value just like that and we scroll down too much and of course you can choose your button height if you want to extend your button in height let's say we want to make it 45 pixels in height and if you want to widen your button you need to increase the pixel value for the horizontal padding because this will apply 14 pixels on the left and 14 pixels on the right so let's go with 25 so you can see an additional 10 pixels on each side 
font size, pretty obvious. Text color is the normal text color, which you can see is white. You can also apply some letter spacing. Letter spacing will add a value in pixels uh, of spacing between each letter of your uh, button text. Then we are over to the UI button hover styles, where you can apply a background color, a text color, a border color, and a border radius. The border radius will be animated as well. So we applied before for our normal state 30 pixels, and you can see here it got 3 pixels on hover. In case you don't want to uh, have any animation for your uh, border radius, you just need to make sure that you set the value of the normal state of the border radius to the same value of the hover state of your border radius. So this would be 30 pixels. Back to the UI button, we changed our uh, UI icon, sorry. We changed our icon before. You can also uh, choose whether to completely entirely switch off that icon. And when you have your icon switched on, you can choose whether it is on the left or before your text or after your text. And if the button, if the icon style will be inline style or if a box style has been applied. When a box style is being applied, you can choose the background of that icon as well. And the last thing, as well as some uh, additional uh, hover styles, of course, for of course for your box style. The last thing are some transitions where you can change the background speed. This is a value in milliseconds, a background effect, and then a background speed for your border. Sorry, not a background, a border speed, a border effect, a radius speed, and a text speed. So all those values are in milliseconds. These uh, transitions are happening between normal state and hover state, of course. So feel free to play around with it. Plenty of options, plenty of icons, plenty of fun families. You can definitely create some really nice buttons with this app.